I remember hiking a volcano and uh, that was one of the most breathtaking views I've ever seen. We got to see grizzly bears and black bears and moose. Then we went to Denali and saw more wildlife than I could have ever expected, as well as this crazy mother moose. And she just would randomly charge people. Not, I don't even think, to, she, wasn't, she wasn't rabid or anything. She was just very defensive of her kids and had this bad habit of just Kicking them, kicking vans would go up to them and just go, mm, and just kick them. I remember in particular a blonde grizzly bear in Denali who I'm pretty sure was narcoleptic or kept falling asleep and uh, taking a nap in the middle of a gigantic field and didn't seem bothered at all that anyone else was in the world besides him. The one thing that they told us is if you see a bear, you know, don't get close to it. Don't, you know, don't taunt it. Just try and walk, uh, you know, be calm and just get away from the situation. I think, I think most people listen to that, but me, this kid John, and our professor John Garver, I, I don't know if we're just stupid or if this is the way we're programmed. The first thing we do is just start, John turns on his video camera and starts getting footage of the bear, and I take out my digital camera and I'm just, snapping photos of it. Guys, there's a bear right here in front of you. Meanwhile, John Garver is looking back and saying, yeah, you guys, you go, this is bad. And in my ear, he's just saying, yeah, take those pictures, just take, come on, take as many as you can. And I just, I, you know, I think it's, there's a great sense of adventure within pretty much any geologist. There's, you know, living on the edge and searching for the unknown. That's kind of what makes geology exciting.